This is code.org. Let's see what we have here. Ooh, we have a preview. Do we have anything? It doesn't look like anything's going to run. Okay. Um, I'm going to so I can read this. Import your Painter Plus class. Of course, if you don't have it, click there. Yada, yada. Let's see. Yep. And import. All right. Do. Write a parameterized constructor in the Painter Plus class. Look at the document for the Painter class in the Document tab for the constructor signature. Document tab. Painter class. I'm going to pop this out so I can see. Here's the painter class. Here's the constructor. And here's the, ooh, they have an overload. Uh, they have several. Nope, this is the parameterized one, right? And that's what they want us to look at. Okay, yep, that is. So I'm going to grab this, right? That's going to be, because this is, wow, this is going to be confusing, guys. This painter plus class, keep in mind, is going to be or is extended is built upon our painter class all right so we need a constructor we need well apparently two i'm going to copy or paste what i just copied painter except now i need this to be painter plus and i'm going to go ahead and go joop, joop. okay now we are going to need the values that the painter class needs right because this again is built on the painter class so even if we don't have int x in this like the painter class would the painter class has int x somewhere it right? probably has it at the top right they have that instant variable so painter plus when we create an object painter plus it creates also the painter class so everything inside of the painter class right say the painter class has a uh, i don't know string uh name equals red when I create a painter, if this was in the painter class, when I create a painter plus object, I would have the value of name equal to Fred, even if it isn't in this class, because we inherit everything from here. So that being said, we need to set all of this stuff if we're going to use a parameterized constructor. It looks like they want to make this more confusing and have us add stuff. Look at the document class tab for the constructor signature and instantiate the painter. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Okay, so we don't need to add stuff, which is awesome. I'm going to use the same variable names or parameter names. You don't have to, but I'm going to. Now, how do I actually instantiate the uh, parent class? This is when we're going to use, like we have been in this lesson, the super keyword. Now, what the heck does super mean? It means the object above this. So... So when I say super, the computer goes, what is super? And it goes, uh, I don't know, here, here, here. Nope. Oh, here. Super is what this class is built on. It's its parent. It means the thing above it. And so when we say super, what it actually does is go and look at the painter class. And then I'm going to pass X, Y, direction, and paint to our painter class. And again, you don't have to keep these names identical. You could, I don't know, say X location or something like this would also work. Now that is all looking good, I believe. Let me hit run and see if I already broke something. Nope, looking good. Okay, now, good, good, good. To do, in the neighborhood runner Java, instantiate a painter plus object at location. Gotcha. So painter plus class object. Um, I'm gonna name my painter Fred. I suggest you pick a better name. Painter plus constructor is what I want to run uh, or what I want to execute. The location is 2, 2, facing south, and then 16 units of paint. That's all looking good. Uh, cool, cool. Let's see if that actually breaks stuff. Oh, blum, blum. oh I need to say new. There we are. Great. And now... If I hit run, oh, does it make it so it appears here? Yay! And so now we're creating the object at uh, the right space facing south, right? And again, what does this do? The computer says, okay, oh, this is in the painter plus class. Okay, a new variable, a new object, Fred. What do I need to run? The painter plus uh, method Blah. over here. What's the painter plus method? It's the constructor. It passes these details to it, and those get passed to the painter object. That sets all this stuff. Cool. Let's test. Onward.